Madume, madume, ke ya dume disha. Kali nalele votsila mora na jeso ke re dume lang, dume lang tle. And welcome to Mkhadi channel. Nano la kawala mama rato. Le mama saleta vadi salo wana mo profeta. Wa mo dimu, mo profeta wa gaye. Zugi swa o wana mo. Ka prophecy about case and judgment. Osa bu ili rape. Kumi ibile osa bu le la rape goro mo dimu. Ore judgment go dimu ga case at end. Ti taba je din chinchi je di ba wela nba case at end. Ka ba kala go fura le la mo dimu. Ka ba kala go hitre la me dimu wana. Lo gona go nya chalina la motimo. A re tlo kwa ndi tabache ghaadi lalosha. Go re tabata ba iti le ka mweta pele wa wana ele nzi Jacob Zuma. Wo ele ngo re KZN. Imo fetu ji imo di ngwana wa yona. Go mi imo woshipa kama baka wotli. Go re na u rape la midi ngwana go ba juang awa. Bo na ba mwbe ile pili. Go mi seo mo di mo utlo ya asinyi ya cha go ba na. Ka pele ka kawe a wana mo di ngwana utwa nji yung ube gona. Hari tlo kwa nka di ntwa, le di tlala, je di tlo wela mo provensi ewe. Kwa mi golo nga na mo di mo itu kishe, kwa mi o tsebe gore. Mo di mo uwane di singki di direge, di singki di fiche. Erege na kwe e fiche, iwe lo gore gane te wile wa tseba taba ji. Ari kwe ng, gore mo profeta, ore nga di biya kamulu mwaka wa kusha po gore. Hello everyone, hello, 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 I hope you're well. My name is Ugeswa and I am a prophet before God Young. Servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, born again, baptized, and Holy Spirit filled. I'm a prophet who I, a voice that the Lord has assigned to the black. Sorry about that, the black and brown people in the world. That would be Africans with their descendants, um, Indians, na Indian nationals with their descendants, wherever they may be. In the world today i'm bringing the word of the lord that the lord gave me on the 21st of june 2024 it pertains to the zulu people or the zulu tribe in south africa in the province of kzn or wherever they may be all the zulu tribes or the zulu people they know themselves and we have been on this path of fighting with the zulus over their idolatrous spirit and idolatrous lifestyle Excuse me, and there are other gods that they are worshiping over there. They are the Zulus are the people who are in charge of divining medium spirit, ancestor spirit in the rest of the world. Anyone who needs more powers to rise in the kingdom of darkness comes to South Africa, specifically KZN. They specialize in the ancestor spirits of war, they got the warlocks over there. The highest ranking warlocks in the world are in KZN, Azulus. And since the Lord commissioned me last year, he has been telling me and showing me the things that the Zulu people are capable of doing. And the things that Zulu people are doing. And they are not denying it. Instead, they are, they are hurling insult and swearing and doing what they do most in the kingdom of darkness. And the Lord has shut down the door of repentance on them and said, For the sword to the sword, for the famine to the famine, for the slaughter to the slaughter, let him who is filled be, be filled still, the souls that sins, sins will die. So on the 21st of June, I received the word of the Lord to the KZN people or the Zulu people. And if you are, a, you are not a Zulu who lives in KZN, consult the Lord about your life and what to do. Consult the Lord is very important because KZN is under judgment for false gods, idolatry. All KZN will go through sword, my sword, famine for eating and drinking with other gods, political instability. When the, the voting season happened in South Africa, I went, to, I went through the list of the people and the names that were in a ballot box, and I learned that since ANC was taking the white people's monies, 
the Edomites' monies, the, the nation's monies. That might have meant that we are under judgment and therefore the reign of a black man in South Africa is coming to an end. So I went to the Lord and I said, Lord, I, I only had one question, really. Because all the, 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 the bosses and all these other the, the things you are following, it's the Edomites that God hates and don't no longer want in South Africa. God had already, already told me that. But what came on, on the blind side for me was when I realized that it is actually voting season and it's getting late in, in this voting season. And all these are for the white, man, white, white people. The Edomites in South Africa finally got themselves a larger or a bigger majority, the majority vote through they, they they are consolidating power to themselves through the small um fractions or the small parties that they are making in there. So I went before the Lord and what came out I was not ready. They all said ANC has four years in South Africa as a party in union building. After that, each and every province will be in charge of their own affairs and their own finances and their own. So meaning the South African, the union building, the consolidated power of black, black people in South Africa is being split and cut into nine provinces. Each and every province will head themselves. And this will mean that Traveling from province to province is going to be very tight. We are going back to the Matanzima time. Because your hearts are sinful. Proverbs says, the righteousness of the nation, the righteous, the righteous man holds the nation. The righteousness of the citizens hold the nation. So whenever you get the president you don't want, it is not because somebody stole anything from you. You are the problem. Your heart, check your heart. How is your heart pasture before God? So when the Lord said that there's going to be politic, or oh, when the Lord handled that and told me about the country that it's going to be split, he had already said that he's going to judge Kezeden Hashley. And when you all were following the MK, the Lord, I saw Zuma and there was a knowing in me that I couldn't shake. That knowing of the knowing of the knowing, the three folds of the knowing in me told me that the judgment of Kezeden will be Zuma because you guys idolize Jacob Zuma with all his sins. And maybe one day I will read you the things that the Holy Spirit has against Jacob Zuma, the things that he has done, the sins that God sees as unforgivable. Yet you guys worship that man. You worship that occultic man with his witchcraft and all that, and Sangomas and all these ancestral spirits that he brings to South Africa. He's the reason why South Africa is going through what it's going through right now. For 12 years, you guys put him in power and he destroyed every, and shredded every part of our constitution that was ever working right. So when God said political instability, back then, KZN, he said there will be floods, there will be famine, I mean, there will be no food. KZN is about to starve. There will be starvation and people will die from hunger. At any given point in time, when you guys wink at the ancestors and you make food for the ancestors and you slaughter goats for the ancestors, you are merry and drinking and, and celebrating the ancestors and eating meat with the ancestors, you are calling famine and drought on yourselves. And once the case then the season of the... Um, There will be wars in KZN, the civil wars. Political instability. Zuma is about to take over the KZN and take it to the dogs if need be. Then the Lord says, the clans that they like so much will start fires. It will be the nobles against them temples, but it will grow and grow 
and grow until all join and are involved in a civil war like Hutus and Tutsis. Tutsis. Only my remnant will I save. Knowing the nobles and their unrepented smell of blood, they'll be there in the front lines, but they shall not prevail. I am God of justice. So this. So Kazakhstan is going to go through civil wars. And then after civil wars, they'll be dealing with famine. And then after famine and hunger, there'll be political instabilities over those issues. Sorry about that. So the Lord has been talking to you all. Let go of the sangomas. Denounce and renounce the violence. Renounce and denounce the witchcraft. Renounce and denounce shembe. Renounce and denounce all uh, uh, the royal palace, the, the isil, the, the beast that king of kings that we have in Kezeden, you refuse to let that royal, little royalty that God hates so much, you keep putting it out there. 